Hello, as you know, Bootstrap is a fantastic tool for creating responsive websites, but one point where it falls short is in creating a text which is responsive, meaning that it adapts upon the dimension of the browser. As you can see in this example, which I created uh, just for the sake of understanding what I mean, if I change the dimension of this of this window, you will see that everything adapts. The, uh, the position of the images change. And also, if you notice, this title and also this one is changing upon the movement of the page and it will become smaller, which is something which is not typical of Bootstrap. How did I achieve that? So for uh, explaining you how I did it, I created here a simple example. Here on the, on the header, I added um, the necessary Bootstrap um, links to a CDN, nothing fancy. And this down here, I created a very, very basic page, which you can see here. And if I change the dimension of the browser, the content here adapts, because as you see, I, I made it responsive, but the title remains the same dimension, doesn't, doesn't change dimension. And if we go to a smaller size, a typical, um, typical smartphone device, the, the title will become too big and, uh, and it's not nice to have this title big. So how did I achieve that in the other example? Well, you have two options. One option is using media queries. The second option is using a very simple, uh, simple JavaScript, which I will show you in a minute. So the first option using using um, using media queries, I will show you now. Which, which, is, uh, which works like this. I will copy paste some, uh, some media query in, the, in this page. Okay, here we are. And uh, just for the sake of demonstration, I added also a color. So now if uh, I will add this class to my H1 tag, my H1, let's see what happens. I save the page and uh, and here I will refresh this browser and if you see the dimension changed and also the color changed. And now if we go to a larger dimension, the color change and the dimension changes. And this is media queries um, and this is one option, but this is not bootstrap because the advantages using bootstrap is to make it easier and avoiding the use of media queries because otherwise if you start using media queries you can use media queries for everything and you don't need bootstrap so let's try another another option this other option uses another another small javascript which you can find in uh, in the cdn which is called fit text and if you add this um, this JavaScript, then we can um, we can maybe copy this uh, this H1, and we will call it we will remove this class. So this one doesn't. This is my second responsive text, and now I will see what happens when. When we change dimension, the first one is adapting, the second one is not. So how do I use this fit text um, a JavaScript? Very simple. I will copy paste some code. Okay, here we are. I just copied the, this, um, this uh, simple function, which is saying maybe let's change this one to an H2 for the sake of this demonstration. Why that it still does not adapt, as you can see. Uh, no, uh, now you see that it adapts as well because 
also this one has a, um, has been working based on on this simple script which says that every h2 tag will fit between a font of the dimension of of 20 to the dimension of 50 and if you see this font is adapting if i comment this line you will see that the uh, the second tag will not adapt anymore and it will remain the same dimension while if i uncomment this tag you will see that it adapts it adapts upon the browser dimension and this is a very easy way and very effective way for controlling the the size of uh, a text inside the bookstore. I hope this uh, demonstration was useful for you and uh, and thank you for watching.